Hi guys, let's forget about our problems and talk about clothes for a little bit. So this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, just sort of talk about clothes with you guys. And yeah, hopefully this is gonna be a regular thing. A few things before we start off. So pretty much today's video is just gonna be a simple pickup video. I thought, you know, let's start off the channel simple. This is pretty much all of my favorite stuff that I've picked up since I got to college. Uh, we've got some designer, some vintage, and this is pretty much just everything that I've been wearing since I got here. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and, you know, like the video. Make sure you guys also follow my Depop. That's going to be in the description. Um, I'm on my way to be a verified seller now. That's kind of cool. That's been something that's been keeping me up lately, you know? Almost at my 600th sale. That's been fun. Enough rambling, guys. Um, shout out to Ryan Bettelavaldi for helping me edit and film this video and help me out with all the tech stuff. Because that's been like the only thing that's been keeping me from making a YouTube channel and he's been a really big help. So shout out to you. Let's get into the pickups. So I think probably today the two strongest categories that we got are going to be footwear and jackets. But we're going to start with footwear. And so we've got three pickups for you guys. Let me get them from over here. First pickup that we're going to have to talk about is probably my loudest piece of footwear that I've ever acquired. These are Prada. Fall Winter 16 Kilty Oxford Monk Straps. I think that was the name. I got these off of The Real Real on their sale for an absolutely disgusting price. Like these have been on my radar for a while. I saw them in an early like Sanjeev video and I just thought they were so cool. And I also didn't have a derby in my wardrobe at all. They're very me because you know, they're a little louder than a typical derby. Not as versatile as like a normal black derby, but that's what I kind of like about them. You know, I like taking loud pieces that most people think wouldn't work with a lot of things. And I like wearing them with outfits that they don't kind of go in to just sort of show that I'm kind of bold. And that kind of gives me a sort of weird element to my outfits, which I kind of dig. One thing about them though, they fit me huge. They look like clown shoes which I don't like. So these have actually been kind of hard to style. If I got them in a size down, I think I got these in a size eight and they still fit me really clunky. I'm normally a size nine. I don't know, I like wearing them with flared pants. I try to wear them with jeans, but it just doesn't work. They look too hefty. But yeah, I like to call these the Prada Pirates because they kind of look like a pirate shoe or they look like something someone at Buckingham Palace would wear. These are amazing, one of my grails and I picked these up for a steal. Now, let me tell you guys about my favorite shoe silhouette, maybe of all time, it's definitely my top three, and that's gonna be right here, the Birkenstock Boston. Normally, y'all know Birkenstock so, as those weird strappy shoes that lesbians wear, but these, these are different. These are for men right here. Get you some clogs. I have one other pair of Bostons, but they're too big for me and so they kind of are really hard to wear and I don't really like wearing them. And I didn't realize how amazing the actual shoe was until I got them in my regular size. They're so easy to wear. I feel like I could run a marathon in these things. And also, are we not gonna talk about this print on them? Oh my God, I would have paid like $200 for these things, but these are like a vintage pair and these were 40 bucks on eBay. $40 for a pair of paisley print grandma style Birkenstock Bostons. These are the most me shoes of all time. They're a little floral, they're grandma like, and they're also Bostons. They tick three of my biggest boxes ever. I love these. These are great for chilling around the house or going out in. You can pair these with some wide jeans, some flared pants, a hoodie, a dress shirt, anything. These are just such a gorgeous shoe. I'm in love with these. Last footwear purchase. This is the biggest one, but in a way, these are the most subtle. This is a nice teaser for you guys. So here we have the Alix St. Mark's loafers. These have been on my list ever since. If you guys know uh, Jacob Keller of Bare Knuckles, he has these and I really like how he styled them. And I've just sort of had my eyes on them ever since I saw him in them. These were on Grailed for a super good price. If you want these, you're looking to pay around like 400, but I paid around 200, which I know is a little expensive, but I didn't really have a nice versatile loafer that I was like proud of. I have a pair of Doc Martens loafers, but I kind of wanted to invest in one. And I'm super happy with these, kind of. They feature the best leather I've ever felt. It's super buttery, super soft. 
they are they kind of function as like slides for me because they're super easy to just throw on with an outfit the big problem is though they don't really look good with flares which is my big thing i love flared pants i love wide pants and they don't look very good with those pants because they kind of cover up the lighter cap and they just sort of look like a ballet flat which is not that it's surprisingly not that good of a look and so when I do wear these, I like wearing them with like dress trousers that are sort of higher up and cropped. Pretty much, if I can see the lighter cap, that means that they're a good pair of pants to wear with them. Not because I'm a hype beast and I wanna show off the lighter cap just to let people know it's elite. I just think it shows off the shoe more, which is what I kinda of want with a silhouette like this, which I didn't realize until I picked them up. But I'm still super happy with these, even though I don't wear them as much as I want to, I figured I'd keep them for a little bit see if I can get some good wear out of them and honestly as much as it pains me to say if I don't end up wearing these a lot I might have to sell them which works out because I did pay a super good price for them as I as I mentioned before yeah also fun fact guy I got them from threw in this free Nike um Elix bag which I've been using as my gym bag because I got back into fitness and guys I feel oh so good and I kind of credited to this bag yeah Love this bag so much. Okay, woo! Three footwear purchases. Let's move on to, to bottoms. Let's move on to bottoms. All right, now we're moving on to bottoms, which is a category of clothing that I am probably the pickiest with. I really like my pants to fit a certain way, and I only buy my clothes online typically, which is hard because buying pants online for me is really tough because I'm kind of short, and I like my pants to fit a certain way. I like a flare or I like kind of a wider, baggier fit. And that's sort of hard to find in pants that are high-end without them being like $1,000. Surprisingly, all of my um, bottoms pickups, they're all denim, which is weird because I've been telling myself I can't buy any more denim because I already have a bunch of pairs. But these were all too good to pass up. And I really do love all of them. And I feel like it's okay to have them in my wardrobe because they all kind of serve a different purpose, you know? So let's hop into them. First pickup. We have a pair of Needles jeans. Now, they don't have any Needles branding, but... Oh, wait, they are Needles! Holy shit! Guys, I just noticed this. The button says Needles on them. Oh my god, cool! But yeah, they're sort of a lightweight denim. They are really flowy. They're kind of flared. And they have sort of like this interesting paneling. Comes down to the double knee, and the pockets are kind of like vintage military fatigue pockets. So they kind of give me you know, an army vibe. And also, this, another detail that I really love about them is if you look really closely, like the reinforced stitching on them is in a purple, which is super cute and it adds a nice little pop of color. Speaking of pops of color, I feel like you guys have noticed the little red stripe, which is made out of vintage red carpet or something like that. That's what the seller told me. He could have been capping, I don't know, but I honestly don't care because I would have bought these either way. They got some good fades on the butt. They got some good fades on the knees. I love wearing these with my Birkenstock Bostons. I love pairing these with, honestly, I kind of do just wear them with my Bostons just cause I think that's the shoe that they look best with. But maybe I could pair them up with some big old like lug sole loafers, maybe a nice chunky boot and just go along with my day. They're super comfortable. Yeah, these are probably my favorite pair of pants that I've picked up, or at least that's what I thought until I found this next pair. Folks, y'all know that I thrift a lot, you know? I hit the bins, I'm in the trenches, and I resell. The bins here in Madison are just top-notch for women's pants. And I love women's pants. Women's clothing fits me so well. I think it's because I kind of like that Gucci aesthetic and a lot of their stuff is androgynous. And so I sort of gravitate towards women's silhouettes a lot of the times. And folks, when I tell you that these are the most beautiful jeans I have ever thrifted, I think you should believe me because... Woo! We have a pair of vintage Levi's with like, they're super flared with these super cool like patches on the knees reinforced two places. There's like this dirty fading right next to them. And they're in this beautiful dark blue color. I've been looking for a pair of dark blue flares for a long time. And I was fortunate enough to find these at the bins for probably like a dollar. You know, they've got a Levi's patch on the back. 
I think these are either from the 70s or the early 2000s. I like to believe that they're from the 70s just because it makes me feel better about myself. They are pretty low rise, which I don't mind because I typically don't wear these with shirts that I need to tuck in. And so you don't really see the low rise. They are a women's size 12 and they are pretty big. One thing I've learned from wearing women's clothing a lot is that I am typically a women's size eight, which if you guys are like a 30 waist, uh, like a, thir a 29, 30 waist, you guys are probably a women's size eight too, if I would assume, if that's what things have taught me. Super flared at the bottom. I love, these are probably the shoe, these are probably the pants that look best with my Prada Dirties. Every single part of them is so beautiful. These are amazing jeans. These are the best pants that I've ever thrifted. I love these. Maybe I'll sell them eventually, but you'd be hard pressed to ever find these on my Depop, honestly. They're so gorgeous. I love them. They're my perfect, they're my ideal dark denim pant. Next pickup was also from the bins, and these are the most outlandish bottoms that I probably own. These don't really fit my aesthetic at all. They are really 90s, early 2000s, and I'm more of a 70s kind of guy. They're just super fun to wear. And all in all, I don't care if something fits my aesthetic, if it's fun to style and fun to wear, like I will do my best with it. And these, these, I don't think you guys can really grasp them when I just show you them like this. They are from this brand called Grind, which is like an early 90s skate brand or early 2000s. And they are the, they're just the biggest shorts ever. They are huge. They drop down to like my shin. They're super wide. They kind of look like a skirt. They're in this nice olive color. And they have like this super nice embroidery on the back. The white stitching is sort of falling apart in areas. There's a little bit of a rip on the back pocket. You can tell that these were kind of skated in, but not really, which is like the perfect amount of wear that like I want on them. They're super fun to pair up with like a big hoodie, super fun to pair up with like a jacket. They're kind of hard to style, but that's what I love about them. They're kind of a challenge and I love a challenge. The magazine that I'm a part of at UW-Madison, we did a Y2K night for one of our meetings and I won the outfit contest by wearing these shorts. That should just give you a little hint as to the power of these babies. Now let's get on to knitwear. We only have two pieces. Uh, this is a sweater vest from Anne de Moulemeester. Uh, this is my first Anne D piece. Shout out my homie Chris. He's the Anne D god. I've never met a guy with an Anne D collection like him. He goes hard. He's the homie. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. I found this on Grailed. I'm pretty sure this is women's. Um, it was for a super good price. That Chris guy always tells me that Grail and D prices are super high. And that's what I've noticed. This was like 50 bucks, which I'm not mad at at all because I love Andamula Meester. So this is a sweater vest. It's sort of like a burlap sack material. It's not like a traditional knit. It's kind of stretchy. It's pretty lightweight. One thing that I like about this, I like the pattern. I like the tan color. And I also really love the like neck band and arms and the bottom because the they sort of twist the knit in a way. If you guys can kind of see that, it's sort of like a spiral pattern, which I have no idea how they achieve. That's such a crazy detail. This is sort of hard to style because it's a little long and it doesn't really look good tucked in, but you know, sometimes I'll pair it with a dress shirt or I'll just wear it on its own like as a tank top and I'll like show off my muscles a little bit, you know, if it's like a hot summer day and you know, I wanna let the boys breathe, then I'll throw this on. It doesn't really look good with t-shirts, which kind of limits my styling with it, but I don't really like sweater vests with t-shirts, so, you know, I wouldn't have really worn it like that either way. And D pickup, my first and D piece, hopefully not my last. Next up, we have probably my favorite cardigan that I own. I've been getting huge into cardigans lately just cause I found that they are a more stylish zip up hoodie in a way. You know, I hate zip up hoodies, but I've noticed that I've been wearing them just cause they're comfortable, but I don't think they look that good on me. And cardigans sort of solve that problem. They're easy to just throw on. They're like a blanket with sleeves. This is just a vintage 70s cardigan that I got at an antique store in Milwaukee. Everything at the antique store was like sort of vintage store prices. So it was a little higher priced. And so I was expecting this to be like 50 or 60 bucks, which honestly I would have paid, but this was $12 on sale. I couldn't believe it either. That's like a thrift store price for this. And it's mohair, which if you guys don't know, mohair is a pretty cruel material. 
I would suggest that you guys don't buy mohair new. If you guys are gonna buy mohair, find like a sustainable alternative to the material or just buy it vintage. This is vintage, so I think it's okay. It's sort of distressed. It's got like holes in places. I would like to think that a rock star wore this to like one of the shows and sort of thrashed around in a mosh pit with it. It's pretty cropped. The baby blue color is super nice. It kind of looks like a bare knuckles cardigan, which has been on my list for a while, but now I don't need it because I have this. Really thick, really warm. I love wearing this buttoned up. Love leaving it open. I love pairing this with t-shirts, with dress shirts, pair with a pair of jeans, a pair of slacks. Super versatile piece. Just such an amazing vintage pickup. I don't think I'll ever sell this. That's gonna do it for knitwear. Let's hop on to shirts. I didn't want this video to be too long. I have a bunch of shirt pickups, but none of them are really notable. They're just sort of all basics. This was one that I was really excited about, but I found this on Depop in the men's section for like 20 bucks. I love the way it fits. I was sort of expecting it to be a little big just cause dress shirts are always super big on me. I have really short arms and so the dress shirt sort of comes to my like wrist and sort of puddles there and it gives it like a puff sleeve, which I hate the look of. But this doesn't do that because it's women's and it's super tight. It gives me sort of like a 70s disco vibe. Tuck this in with a pair of flares and you're ready to go boogie. Really loud, love the colors. Gives me sort of that Gucci vibe that I love going for a lot of the times. Gives this sort of androgynous vibe. I love making a statement with this shirt. Super tight, makes me look real buff, makes me look real hench. I like buttoning this up maybe halfway, showing off the chest, letting my chains dangle a little bit. That's if I wanna feel like a rock star. Or I'll button it all the way up and I'll pair it with like a jacket or a cardigan. And I'll sort of just go for like that Gucci look, which uh, you, know, you guys know that I love because I've mentioned it like five times in this video. It's kind of flowy, but it's also in this polyester material, so it kind of retains heat really well. Overall, I'm just super happy with this purchase. It was like, I, what did I say? It was like 12 bucks on Depop. It was such a steal. Yeah, love this shirt. Okay, y'all, I'm a little sad. We are to our last section of the video. And do you guys remember when I was like, I'm saving the best for last? Well, we're to that point. So, you know, you guys have been waiting in anticipation the whole time. So we got two jackets here. They're both trucker jackets. I bought a lot of trucker jackets just cause I found that they're really easy to throw on and I just sort of tend to gravitate towards them a lot. So when I'm looking for a trucker jacket, I'm looking for stuff that is kind of different and pretty out there. And one thing that's always been on my list is the Golf Wang alligator trucker jacket. Now I've been looking for it in this olive color for just the longest time and I couldn't find it anywhere. And so I would just constantly Google golf wang alligator trucker jacket. And this was always the first result that popped up. And so I was like, oh, okay. I guess I can kind of settle for this. And this is in the albino colorway. I picked this up off of Poshmark, which is my first ever Poshmark purchase. And I think it was maybe like a hundred bucks. I think it was 120 actually. But still like that's a steal for this. Um, the print on it is super cool. I did not know that this was a denim jacket. I thought it was like leather. One thing that I'm not that big of a fan of is this um, golf embroidery on the back. This is just the step that takes it into the little bit of like a hype beast area. You know, some people are a fan of, I'm just not that big of a fan of like these big back logos anymore. So I would kind of prefer it if this wasn't there, but I'm not gonna complain. The quality of it is not the best, I'm gonna be real. The denim is sort of aged in a way where like it's sort of fuzzy. You can tell that it's not that good of a denim and the stitching is a little off in places. The buttons are a little too thick and so they're really hard to button up. Oh yeah, and the fit. The fit is a little longer than I like my trucker jackets to be. I like my trucker jackets to hit like right at my waist and this sort of goes down to like my mid thigh. That's maybe a little too long, but it's a lot longer than I like my trucker jackets to be. But for the price, I couldn't pass it up. And for a jacket this cool, I can kind of overlook its flaws. This is kind of a slimmer jacket, but it's a little oversized in a way. It's a weird fit, but I feel like a rock star when I wear this, you know? Love pairing this with like jeans and boots and like aviator sunglasses and just sort of feeling like Lenny Kravitz when I put this on, which I'm a big fan of. I saved the best for last for you guys because this is the first thing I've ever picked up that was a legitimate grail for me. 
This has been on my list, like, ever since I saw it on, I think I saw it in Essence. And then I saw Steve Lacey wear it, and I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I also saw Emma Chamberlain wear it, which, if you guys don't know me, I surprisingly really love Emma Chamberlain, and I love how she dresses. And I was really surprised to see her in this piece. And so, there's this app called Vestier Collective. And I have had notifications, I have notifications on for whenever a new Martine Rose piece pops up on there. You know, so maybe I can search it out and, you know, get it for a good price. And I could not believe what I saw when this piece was posted. So this is one of my all-time grails. This is the Martine Rose Hybrid Denim Track Jacket. Super cool. This is the nicest nylon I've ever felt. It's legitimately like silk. It feels so good. You've got this nice mid-wash denim on the sleeves. The construction of it is amazing. Everything about this jacket is super just ideal. And it's everything that I've ever wanted in a jacket like this. Like literally the instant it was posted, I was on it because I was like, oh my God, this jacket's posted. I can't believe it. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna like see what price it is. Cause I was expecting it to be like 400, 500 bucks. 200, no, it was posted up for 250. I sent an offer for 200 expecting it to get like, you know, kicked out, but they accepted it. I couldn't believe it. This jacket is insane. I just love holding it. I love the fact that I own this jacket. I will never sell this thing. This is my this is my all-time grail. This will forever be the first grail that I ever acquired. So it's always gonna like hold that place in my heart. And it's also just so cool. Super easy to style, throw it on over a t-shirt, over a knit, over a dress shirt, pair with jeans, slacks, boots, loafers, sneakers, whatever you want. This is the perfect jacket for me. I love it so much. Those are my fall winter school pickups. These, this is everything that I picked up since I got to college or these are just my favorite things that I've gotten. Uh, I don't want this to come off like I'm bragging at all. I just kind of want this to be me showing you guys just the clothes that I've acquired and just sort of express my love for clothing just cause I felt like Instagram wasn't a good way for me to delve into how much I know and love about clothing. And hopefully YouTube is the new thing for me. I really had fun making this video. I just love showing you guys my clothes. I think this is gonna be a regular thing, guys. Like, oh my God. So make sure you guys, once again, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, follow my Depop. Uh, shout out Ryan Bettelavaldi. Thank you guys so much for coming and listening to me talk about clothes for a little bit. All right. See you guys. Love you.